what's up my bridges if you're new here hello my name is Brittany and today we are going to be talking about all of the makeup palettes eyeshadow palettes that I have purchased and I still haven't even fucking used because clown makeup clown right over here no shame in my game and you know what I'm still gonna buy more it's fine so if you guys like today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up or thumbs it down. That's cool too. If you're new, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you're watching the live chat, I see all the britches trickling in. Alicia, what's up girl? Happy Thursday, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I would love to hear what are palettes that you guys have bought and you haven't used yet? Because don't make me feel shame. All right. I know I'm not the only one. Okay. <laughs> Wanda, happy birthday. Everybody give Wanda some birthday shout outs. I had to find my button. Yes, Wanda, happy birthday. Everybody, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? It's fine. It might be only 4.30, but I just got to get through these. I don't know how people are raving about these so much. Like, they're good, but again, I could not drink a bunch of these. So I'm just drinking them because I need to get rid of them. Like, Blue raspberry, it's like every time I drink that one, I'm like, oh, it's so sweet. Okay, y'all are gonna, y'all are gonna fucking roast me right now. <laughs> Some of these palettes, like I'm going through my drawers and I'm like, oh my God, like how did I not use these fucking things? Let's start off with some ones that I don't feel as bad about, but once I get to other ones, I'm gonna be like, I, I don't understand myself, and y'all are really going to come for me, okay? <laughs> I'm fully prepared. So the first palette, this one's actually relatively new, so I'm not beating myself up over it that I haven't used it yet. The It's Belle Cosmetics, the Dawn of Fall palette. I think, like, I've swatched this. I think this palette would pair so nicely with... It's not Fairy Frolic. It's one of the newer Unearthly, the Fall Magic palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is all just metallics. And I think that's why I haven't used it yet because it's almost like a sister palette. And I've been curious to try its bell because their quality looks amazing. They've got multi-chromes. Like their eyeshadows look beautiful. But whenever I buy palettes like this, I always know like I'm not going to use it all the time or I'm going to need to make sure that I'm like remembering to reach for it type of thing. But I've never fucking used this, but it's not as old, so I don't feel as bad about it. Some of these, though, I'm just like, bitch, I've had these for so long, and I don't understand how I have not used them <laughs> yet, which you're going to understand in just a few minutes. The next brand I have is ColourPop. <laughs> is anybody surprised? So I have three palettes from ColourPop that I bought, mainly because I was like, I don't fucking care I just want to own these palettes because I love Disney. So they came out with the Tinkerbell, the Sprinkle a Little Magic palette, I think is what this is called. Still not like insanely old. One of their newer ones, I think, right? But I bought this not even just because it's Disney, but like the color story. I love green eyeshadows. I mean, clearly. <laughs> but... I don't know. I just, I got this in my collection because a lot of the time I noticed it's when I buy so much at one time. Like I feel like a bunch of stuff drops at once. And then by the time I get everything, it all comes at once. And then by the time I get to using it, I'm going to blame you. <laughs> people don't care about it anymore, but maybe I'm wrong. It just seems like people love watching videos about new stuff. So that's why I focus on a lot of new stuff. The next palette I got was an, another I don't care was the ColourPop, the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. Another one, did not even care. I wanted it for my collection purpose. <laughs> it's not really a color story that I would reach for all the time. Like, it's got the neutrals in there. It's got the pinks, which, like, I wear pinks sometimes, but it's not really my preference because they always stain. But again, I just, I didn't even care. I was like, no, Nightmare Before Christmas is my shit. So I had to have this one. And then the other one from ColourPop is the Gather Around Sisters. I can't believe myself that I still have not used this. Even with it like coming back out this past year. Because I got this last year. Right? Didn't it launch last year? I've swatched it. But I have not used it. Because this was one I pulled out and I'm like, 
I feel like I did use it, but I don't remember. But then when I'm looking at these, the only one that looks somewhat used is this one here. But I'm like, I feel like it's just from me swatching it. I don't fucking know. I'm like, I'm going to take this as I didn't use it because it doesn't look like it. <laughs> and I also don't remember a look that I did with it. So there's that. <laughs> Oh, Rose said, I have three Lunar Beauty palettes I've never even reached for. Oh my God, and Lunar Beauty has such amazing palettes. But this is where I'm like, I'm a fucking clown. Like, why did I even buy these? I know why I bought them because I tried one and I fucking loved it. And then I done fucked up and I bought all of the BH Cosmetics, the ice cream palettes. Remember when these came out? The Sweet Shop palettes? I have not used any of these except for the green one clown <laughs> i have these i have remember the glam light collection i didn't include those today because i bought them basically knowing i wasn't going to use them i bought all these fully anticipating <laughs> to fucking use them and a bitch didn't so let me show you what these look like in case you've never seen them before these were the palettes that got insane reviews like people love these i wanted this one because there's a time and a place for blue. Like, again, I don't wear colorful eyeshadow a lot, which is why I could justify buying all these because they weren't that expensive. And it's like, if I wanted a blue eyeshadow, I knew that I had a palette that I would reach for. Did I need a blue eyeshadow palette? Clearly not, because I still have not reached for it. The, what is this? The orange sorbet. Fucking beautiful. Wanda, I told you, don't fucking shame me, all right? I did not come here to be judged. She's like, wow, you got a problem. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's why I always blame you guys. I'm like, I buy them for you to review them, and I just don't get to it. <laughs> this is the um, cherry on top palette. This is one I really didn't expect to really reach for. But here was my thought going into it when I bought these. I was like, I'm going to do a video like doing a look per each palette, and then I'm going to rank them. You think that ever came up? Nope, clearly not. This one was one of my favorites, though, but the one that I'm the most surprised that I haven't used is the sugar cone one, simply because y'all know how much I love a basic-ass color story, and this is totally up my alley. Like, even these eyeshadows down here, it's like you could totally use those as bronzers. Why have I never used these? I don't understand myself, but it's fine. They're cute. I still have them in my collection and I won't even get rid of them because I still feel like maybe I'll use them. Maybe that's just me being an idiot, but it's fine. I'm willing to accept it and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, I have another brand that have couple palettes because I basically did this. It was Black Friday. I even remember. It was Black Friday. They had a really good sale going on. I'm like, all right, I'm going to stock up on these palettes because they look amazing. Well, then, like, I know why I didn't use these. It's because I really don't like the formulas, at least from the formulas that I did try. And I'm talking about Give Me Glow. Give Me Glow. I don't know what I just said right there. I... <laughs> I love these color stories, but these I feel are some of the most difficult eyeshadows that I've ever used. Between Give Me Glow, I think Clarity is another one that has a pretty difficult formula for me at least. So that was the Vintage Rose palette. And then I also got the Vivid Rose. The other ones that I picked up were, one was like a neutral palette. I forget what the name of it was. I think it had like donuts all over it. And then I also picked up the Christmas Morning palette. Those two I have used and I wasn't really living, breathing, and dying for it. And then I know that I swatched this palette, but I've never used it because it was mo mostly because of the formulas. But I think the color story is so pretty. <laughs> Would you guys want to see me use these still? I don't know. Maybe one day I'll dig them out. But here's the other thing. I need to figure out a different storage for my eyeshadow palettes. Because as it is right now, they, they live in my Alex drawers. I can't even tell you like the last time that I've seen these because the more palettes that I get, they just kind of get lost underneath everything. Like, so I don't see them. So I don't think to reach for them. I need something like, I need to do like a bookshelf or something like that. Just so everything's like bam in my face and I can actually see what I have. If I don't see what I have, I find that I don't really use it. <laughs> so next brand, this is where you guys are going to be like, bitch, what's wrong with you? Tom Ford. 
I just had metallic denim. I just finally used it for the first time like a week ago. That was almost, that was like basically what inspired this video is because I'm like, I, I have so many palettes that I just haven't used. So these are the Tom Ford. These are the eye color quad. I have the shade Badass and Frostfire. I picked these up just pretty much on a whim. Like they were already older. So I wasn't really getting them thinking that I was going to use them like ASAP. Like when I get new palettes, I plan on using them like immediately. So when I saw this color story, I was like, bitch. I need to have this color story. I just, I loved it. And I'm like, I don't care. I just want it for my collection. And I got it for like half off. So I really was not pissed about it. And then I saw this one, which I feel like I hear a lot of great reviews about this palette. I think this one's Frostfire. But the main thing that caught my attention was this eyeshadow right here. I need it. I needed it in my life, but clearly not because I still haven't fucking used them. Gosh, and then this is where it gets real good, guys. Chanel number five. I bought this through a personal shopper like a month, maybe even like two months before it launched in the US. Do you think that I used it before it came out? No, and here's why. Because this looks so beautiful. This for me is like a collector's piece. I don't want to fuck with it. I don't want to ruin like all the embossing that's on there. And I just wanted it. <laughs> but again, clown. Like, why am I like that? Are you guys like this though? Like sometimes you buy things just to like look at them. I don't know. It makes no sense. But here's where it really gets good because you guys heard me talk about these for so long. Like I was big mad. I couldn't get my hands on them. And when I finally did, do you think I actually fucking used them? Of course not. But the palettes I'm talking about, the Dior Birds of a Feather. I have not used either one of these. Why? <laughs> Why am I like this? So these were the collection. These launched last year. And when I saw these, oh my God, I needed to have them, especially this one. I thought this was just... One of my favorite things that Dior has done, this color story is so fucking gorgeous. I love it so much. And I'm just, another one, I'm like, I just, I'm at the point now, I just want to look at it, but I don't even look at it because it just sits there. Stupid. It's so, so stupid. I need to use these like in the worst way, but like these you can't even get anymore. <laughs> but oh my gosh, so pretty. But I just, I laugh every single time because I'm like, I just remember how much I was, I was like telling you guys how much I wanted these and I couldn't get my hands on them. And then I finally did and I didn't even use them anyways. Anyways, moving on, we have Charlotte Tilbury. So this was another one I purchased through a personal shopper like a month, maybe two months before it came out. And I got this one and the other color story with these palettes. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep this one because I'm like, I really don't know if I will actually use this, but it's just been chilling in my collection. You know, these were the, the Celestial Pearl Luxury Palette of Pearls. I think that's the name or no, Celestial Pearl is the actual name of this one. So for this, I'm like, okay, I could use these as like inner corner highlighters, like brow bone highlighters. It's, it's very light, so I don't foresee myself using it a ton, but then I got it because of this packaging. <laughs> I'm a sucker for packaging. And then another palette that inspired this video was actually the Beautylish Lucky Bag that you guys saw in my previous video. And I got a, a Wayne Goss palette in my Lucky Bag. And I was like, you know what? I have not even fucking touched. Not only just the palette that I got in my lucky bag, but there's another one that I haven't even touched yet because again, I ordered these and I everything came like all at once. So this was the palette that I got in my lug or my lucky bag. So this is the tourmaline palette, my favorite color story that I think he's done so far. But I also have not even used the pearl palette. Why I'm like even when I looked at this, I'm like, I could have sworn that I used this, but I didn't. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. There's like no rhyme or reason why I didn't use these because it's not that I don't like the quality or anything. It's just 
they get lost in my collection. And this is why I'm saying I need to, like, remember how I was telling you I was going to, like, reorganize my collection in December? Never fucking happened. Still need to do that, but I need to figure out a new storage for my palettes. And then another palette, I'm just like, why did I even get this? Like, wasn't even really on my radar. I think I saw, like, one good review on it. I feel a hair. It might even be my eyelash. I saw, like, one good review, and I'm like, ooh, I love purples. Okay, let's try the ABH Norvina collection. Like, first of all. I, run, I remember swatching this. I think I swatched it for, like, Instagram, and then I don't even think I posted it. <laughs> what the fuck? So, I love purples. I love neutrals. Like, I love the mauve tones. Like, I felt like this was the most appealing color story for me in, like, this layout. I've just come to realize I just don't really love bigger palettes. I much prefer, like, a nine pan or, like, a six pan just because it makes more sense in my mind. When I see a lot of eyeshadows in one palette, it almost like overwhelms me too much. I feel like I've talked about that a lot. Or even if it's like a bigger palette, if they're smaller, like smaller pans, it doesn't bother me as much. I don't know. It's just like a weird preference thing that I have. And the other, another like three palettes from the same brand from the same fucking collection that I never bought or that I never used that I bought were the Sydney Grace Temptalia palettes. <laughs> oh my god, I was so excited for these palettes. And this was another one, just by the time that I got them, like, here was my first problem. Ordering three palettes at one time. Why? 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 Just why? I noticed with these two, I don't think that there's, like, a big enough difference between them. And with this collection, there was six palettes. Because there was a lighter version and a deeper version. So I bought... I think I bought the deep version for all of them. So this one was, which was this? It's kind of hard to find the names on these. Um, Radiant Reflection, I think this is. I'm like, where the fuck is the name? The first one was the On the Horizon palette. And then the last one is, oh my God, why is this so difficult to find? Quintessence. And I got the deep version of this one as well. So again... Why did I buy three palettes at one time? Makes no sense. No sense in my mind, but it's fine. I'm glad that I have them. I really, I was so excited about this collaboration. So that was another reason why I bought all three at once. I'm literally saying this and I just bought like two eyeshadow palettes like yesterday from Sydney Grace. Like I literally did it again, but I did it for a purpose this time. Next palette I have purchased... Like, guys, these are just the ones that I purchased. Like, these aren't even the ones that I just have in my collection that were, like, gifted to me or sent to me. These, like, I bought all of them. Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty. Relatively new for me, so it's fine. But this palette. I'm blaming Patty Alonzo. I'm not even blaming you guys. I'm blaming Patty. She's like, Brittany, you would love this. You need it. And I have no doubts. This color story is beautiful. The metallics look fantastic. And I cannot wait to try this. I just haven't put this on my radar yet. <laughs> I'm just so focused on different palettes at the moment. But this was one I could easily see. Like, this is where I'm saying. Like, I, I like the palettes that have smaller pans, but more of a variety. But when they're, like, big, clunky palettes like this, I just don't love that. I don't like reaching for it. I just, I need to get palettes that really aren't bigger than this. Does that make sense? So Huda Beauty. Next one is the Natasha Denona Love. This was another one I bought just because it was on sale for like half off, which I regret nothing because I know for a fact I'll end up using this. And I've heard so many amazing things about this palette. Like everybody fucking loves the Love palette. Especially Valentine's Day, what a perfect palette. So I need to try this before Valentine's Day gets here because I could definitely see this being one of those palettes that I would consider using for Valentine's Day. But another one I bought, just like the Huda, they were on sale for like half off. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? And then the last one, I think this is the last one out of all of them. And I, I kicked myself in the ass for even touching this because I'm like, when I bought this, I was going to buy it for a giveaway. I was going to put it in like my December giveaway. And then the more that I looked at it, I'm like, you know, I kind of want to use it. I kind of want to try it. Why? <laughs> the, 
the Pat McGrath, the uh, Mega Mothership Celestial Odyssey. Will I ever use this? I'm not really sure. But it's here, and I've touched it, so now I'm keeping it. I really need to declutter my palettes, I think, because there's a lot in my collection, like, as I was going through everything, there is quite a bit in my collection that I either thought I decluttered already and somehow it found its way back into my collection, and I'm kind of at the point right now, I say this, and it could definitely change. Do you guys ever go through spurts where it's like, I want to be a minimalist. I want to have a smaller but collection that I love. But then I also have the times where I'm like, I want to have everything. So if I want to compare it, I can. Da, 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 da. Right now, I'm like, I kind of want to get rid of everything that I know that I don't like. We'll see if it's actually executed or not. But that is currently like what's going through my mind. So those were all of the palettes that I have purchased and I still have not fucking used yet. So if there's any palettes that you guys want to see a video on, I'll probably start pulling some of these in for like my new makeup releases or like chit chat get ready with me's. I'm not going to stop buying new palettes because I fucking love buying palettes. It's one of my favorite things in makeup is eyeshadow palettes. So don't come for me. Don't fucking judge me. It's fine. It costs zero dollars to mind your business how I spend my money. Okay? <laughs> and I would love to hear what are palettes that you guys have got that you either thought you would use more or that you haven't used because I'm nosy and I love to know. <laughs> Let's see. Lisa says she loves the Pat McGrath palette. See, that's where I'm warming up a lot more to Pat McGrath, especially after her Bridgerton collection. Like, I am so impressed with that. Like, the more that I've used it, the more that I'm enjoying it. So, girl, you like this eye look? There's a video coming soon. And this will be featured in that video. So you got to stay tuned. And I'll make sure to let you guys know which one it is. <laughs> but thank you guys for all the compliments on my makeup today. I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury, the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I tried a new technique. I'm going to be posting it on my TikTok probably after this. You guys got to watch it because I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Let's see. Rose says she's gone minimalist. See, that's where I'm like, I feel like that's kind of where I'm leaning. But I really need to figure out an organization. Like, I've got my drawer organizers that I still have not put in. Like, I've just had so much going on. But I need to figure out a way to get my palettes out of my drawers. Because I know that I would use them a lot more. And I would like to actually look at them a lot more. Uh, let's see. I haven't touched my Pat McGrath holiday palette either. Ah! <laughs> Oh, let's see. The Nomad Transylvania palette. I thought for sure I'd use it and I haven't touched it once. See, I'm not the only one. Okay, this makes me feel so much better. Basically, every Pat McGrath mothership, I love them, but rarely use them. Oh my god, that's so interesting because, I mean, they're what, 120 20 plus dollars? Oh my god, so funny. Wanda, thank you so much. <laughs> let's see. I have 19 palettes and I thought it was a lot. Girl, I know. It's crazy. So guys, if you guys like today's video, I would appreciate it if you guys hit the thumbs up. I see that there's 58 so far and there's double the amount of people watching right now. Guys, get it together. Enjoy yourself. Hit the thumbs up. Even thumbs down. That's how I know what you guys like to see or don't like to see. And like I said, if there's anything that you guys want to see me feature in future videos, just let me know. Other than that, we've got favorites coming up. I've got a Chanel video coming up, Westman Atelier. I think I'm going to do a makeup haul next. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in my next video. And subscribe if you were new. Okay, bye. <laughs>